like, comment, and subscribe for more content. What is going on, guys? How are you guys doing? So, the first day of the Capcom Highlights digital event just wrapped up. And we got this huge blowout for Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. I'm going to warn you right now. At some point, I am going to butcher this name. I promise you. And this is a game that looked interesting already, like off-rip. They revealed it last year at not E3, but they've been very tight-lipped about it since then, right? So, we got this huge blowout. We're going to go through it right now. Do me a favor. If you guys like gaming content, if you guys like Capcom stuff, leave a like. Consider subscribing, right? Because there's a lot of interesting stuff happening right here, and I would appreciate that. So, basically, there's this huge sacred mountain, and it's been... Uh, defiled by these like demons these yokai right they've taken over the mountain it's a sacred mountain and we gotta like collect these masks and you play as this dude right here right his name is so and so is this like samurai dude with uh you can see he's wearing a mask as well and you're basically escorting this maiden named yoshiro and she's on her way up the mountain to purify it right so you're essentially like you know you're escorting her right the game is like this huge like escort mission but the gameplay is really interesting, right? So, essentially, um, these demons, these yokai, um, they come out during the night. That's not a crazy concept, right? In Japanese mythology, a lot of times the yokai they come out during the night. <clears throat> so your goal as so this like you know this samurai guardian dude with spirit powers, um, basically you're going from village to village while you guys are making your way up the mountain. And basically, um, you guys are, you know, rescuing villagers that have been affected by the yokai. And you're giving them masks, right? You can give them masks. And basically, you're assigning to them a... What is what I'm looking for? Like a class, right? So, if you, as you can see here, right? You can give this dude, like, you know, a priest mask, right? He'll turn into a priest or an archer mask, right? There's a carpenter mask, so they can, like four or five th uh, things and like rebuild structures and basically when nighttime comes it basically turns into this like horde mode game right where you know you're using the villagers that you've you know you've powered up and all the structures that you've built and you're basically just killing waves of these enemies right and that's basically what's going on right that's the basic gameplay of kunitsugami right which is really cool right um I'm sure this is a Capcom game, right? So it's gonna be good. Even their weird games like Exo Primal, they're pretty good, right? Exo Primal is one of my favorite games that they've released recently. Um, but the the main like gameplay loop is kind of interesting, right? Um, someone in my chat mentioned this. It's like Capcom's like samurai yokai Pikmin, right? Like, if you've ever played Pikmin, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're basically assigning, like, vocations to these people, right? And you and your team that you've built have to go against all these monsters, right? And that's mainly, you know, that's what it's about, right? Um, and then there's these, like, super yokai. Um, the big one that they kept showing off in the past two trailers. There's this giant centipede one, which is disgusting. I hate centipedes. And, uh, yeah, and, dude, it, it looks great. So, my only thing about this game is, uh, I don't know, like, what, like, I, I like that Capcom is allowed to make weird games again, you know? Is that a hot take? Right? Because I know a lot of people didn't gel with Exo Primal, right? But I'm just glad that we're at this point to where, like, Capcom can make games like this, right? It doesn't have to be the greatest game ever, you know? I'm not saying this game looks bad or anything. I'm just saying, like, you know, this is not Resident Evil 7 or Resident Evil 4 or anything like that. This is one of those games that I'm putting in Capcom's weird catalog, right? Right next to Exo Primal, right next to uh, that one game that we've been waiting years for, uh, Pragmata, which we're still waiting for, like, a gameplay blow up on that, right? So... I'm just happy that Capcom is allowed to make weird games like this, and this is all thanks to the success of games like Monster Hunter World, you know, the Resident Evil series, right, Street Fighter, they're carrying Capcom on their backs, right, and man, I'm just, I'm happy we're at this point, so, 
What do you guys think? Are you guys excited about Kunitsugami? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how many times I've mispronounced Kunitsugami, because I'm pretty sure I have at least once or twice. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.